this guy phoning in right now, Bobby Wagner on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Bobby? I'm doing good. That's a great company to be in. Let me tell you, Bobby, and you are in that company, and nobody really, to be very honest, saw this coming. Did you ever see this type of play from you coming, Bobby? Yeah, I definitely felt, uh, you know, I had the ability to do that. It was just uh, a matter of time of just everything coming together. So I got to say I did. To what do you owe going from the eighth linebacker taken in your draft in 2012 to doing what you're doing right now? Walk me through your development from your eyes, Bobby Wagner. Uh, I think when I got in the league, you know, it just took me some, you know, time to just get to know the, the defense, get to know, um, you know, what type of offenses like to do against our defense. And, um, you know, I think just putting a lot of hard work in you know, on and off the field, you know, and, uh, you know, all my coaches and the teammates that helped me out to kind of help me get to where I am today. Um, you know, it was, a, it was a process, but, you know, I enjoyed it. Bobby Wagner, Seahawks linebacker, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, where do you see your role within this defense that has uh, a secondary with its own legion and a, a front line that has a package named after uh, mm -hmm. NASCAR? Where do you find your role, Bobby? I think uh, I just find myself being the, the center of it all, just uh, kind of putting the, the pieces where they need to be so they can, you know, uh, show off their talents. And that's kind of like my job, just uh, make sure everything uh, is running well and everybody's playing well and uh, in the position and everything's set up and, you know, make sure the defense is flying around having fun. Utah State's own Bobby Wagner joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Where do you pinpoint the turnaround of this season? A lot of people say it's when you came back from your, your, your injury. Bobby, where do you pinpoint the turnaround for this defending championship season potentially for you? I would say it was somewhere around that time. I don't think it was just myself, but I think it was everybody getting healthy and everybody um, kind of going back to to the positions that they were playing. Because uh, when I was out, you know, KJ was playing uh, three different positions. Cam was uh, injured and banged up. So um, getting everybody back healthy and, and um, getting everybody back to where they were playing, you know, this offseason is kind of a big turnaround for us. Uh, Bobby, what is Marshawn Lynch like as a teammate? We we just it's we in the media just all we want to do is just get in this guy's head. Can you can you help me figure out who this guy is and what he's like as a teammate for you? Um, honestly, he's a great teammate. Uh, he's somebody that uh, I mean I know he don't talk much to you guys, but he definitely talks a lot to us. And you know he's helped me out a lot too because you know he always. Uh, comes up to me, um, you know, during practice and, and tells me what he sees and how he feels, uh, um, you know, a linebacker out and what he does to try to manipulate linebackers. So uh, he's definitely helped my game um, a lot. So uh, he's, he's definitely a person that's to himself uh, unless he knows you. And, you know, once he knows you, he's fun to be around, always cracking jokes, always making people laugh, and it's a great guy to be around. Are you guys openly talking about repeating within the locker room? Uh, I don't think we're. I don't think we're talking about that. I think. Uh, I think our focus is just trying to get, you know, that next game under our belt and get an opportunity to to repeat. You know, the only way we can repeat is if we get to the, uh, to the Super Bowl. So, uh, I think we got to win this next one, and then we'll go from there. Bobby Wack, Wagner, Seahawks linebacker, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. And as for this next one, Aaron Rodgers, you saw, I'm sure. Um, how he was occasionally limping around uh, on this uh, on this bad wheel of his. How do you think that plays into your preparation coming in this week? Um, we're definitely going to get after him. But, um, you know, watching the game, you got to have a lot of respect for him because uh, he was still uh, doing some great things out there and still, you know, doing the things that, that he's done all year. So you have to have a lot of respect for him and not to take it lightly because, you know, uh, this is another week for him to, to get healthy and to get better. And that's one more step to, to getting back to, you know, where he was out health-wise. But, you know, we're going to come out there. We're going to attack him. We're going to fly around. We're going to do the things that we do. And uh, we know if we do that, we can get after him. And, um, um, I don't know if you're aware, I've been at this NFL Network thing uh, for about almost 12 years now. Do you know who my first co-host of NFL Total Access was, Bobby Wagner? You know who that was? Who was your first co-host? Ken Norton Jr. was my Ken first co-host. Ken Norton Jr., that's crazy, ain't it? Oh, he was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that interview was amazing. Oh no, no, every day Kenny would come to work, and um, now he's you know he's your position coach, and he, he's got some energy now, Bobby. 
You know that. Yeah, he definitely got some energy. Just not a day that go by where he don't come in and he don't just light up the whole building with his energy. If he doesn't, he got to be sick or something like that. But even when he's sick, he's still got a lot of energy. So, uh, I mean, we feed off that in the linebacker room, uh, especially on the games. You know, he gonna, you know, he still acts like he's playing. You know, he takes his fingers up and he gets ready like he actually about to get out there. But, I mean, he's been a great coach. Yeah, I just want to let you know this, too. Um, you know, my wife was filling in uh, on tomorrow's program. She was covering USC. My wife, Susie Schuster, covering USC. Uh, Pete Carroll was the coach. And she's like, you know, do you want me to ask Pete if he would like to come into Total Access on NFL Network? And I said, sure, I'd love to get him. Uh, and then one day out of the blue, he says, I I I'd like to come in. I'm like, great, come on in. It was right after uh, winning the Rose Bowl. Great, we got the Rose Bowl winning coach coming in. And uh, he comes in, Bobby, and as soon as he's over, he pulls Ken Norton aside. And he says, Ken, walk with me to the parking lot. Walk with him to the parking lot. And guess who was on the USC staff within about two weeks, Bobby? Ken Norton Jr. That's correct. And look who he took to Seattle to be a guy for you, Bobby. Ken Norton Jr., man. So, I, pre you are, I appreciate it a lot. You already know. I'm just saying. Maybe I've got a role in this. That's all I'm saying, Bobby. Definitely. That's you played a little bit of a role in that because, you know, if it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened, right? I'm, I'm a factor is all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. We definitely got to uh, shout you out when we, uh, when we do this thing. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate you calling in. I appreciate you having me. You bet. That's Bobby Wagner, linebacker of one of the all-time great defenses. There's no other way to describe it. What the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience.